God brings the weakness, the infirmities Paul talked about that he rejoiced in. Why? Because it it keys you into the Holy Ghost. Sometimes God's visitation, He will He will do things. You'll think you're going through hell, but really it wakes your spirit up. Your spirit could be sleeping. The uh, what else was I going to say? The music was distracting me. But the uh, yeah the the weakness, the humbleness, the uh, I wanted to mention fasting. Fasting by default makes you weak. I, I read a scripture today about it, and I've done plenty, and I know what I'm talking about. You probably know if you've tried fasting. You'll get weak. But when you start eating again, you're, uh, even sometimes when you're fasting, you get strong. But it's the humbleness component. Everything goes into uh, self-cleaning mode, even your spirit. It's like your spirit wakes up to the reality of God, the Holy Ghost, uh, that realm. Um, Kevin Zadia, I mentioned him in a video. He said when he was in heaven, he saw the timeline of eternity. And he said the earth, the time, the 7,000 or 6,000 years on the earth, he said it was like a hash mark, you know, like a forward slash or, you know, it was a hash mark. And then it was eternity before there was a hash where men ruled the world and then it was just, it was gone. And he said it was like a, a dream you can't even remember. The whole existence on earth is going to be like that in eternity after we turn the corner, after this Christ comes and the millennial reign starts. You know, so, uh, but keying into what God wants you to do now is, is key, it's crucial to hear the Holy Ghost. And you have to be walk humbly. You have to resist sin all you can. Hey, we're all guilty of sin. But you have to be on point with your repentance. And uh, there's times of visitation. I heard a guy, uh, a radio broadcast years ago, he was sick. And he was, yet he was doing his job at the radio. And he, I think he was talking about healing. He was on some Christian radio station. And he was sick, and you can hear it in his voice. And uh, during his broadcast, it was like the Holy Ghost came in there. It was a visitation of God on the spot. And God healed him. And you hear his voice changing. And he was back to normal. And he started crying, and he was thanking Jesus. So, things of the Holy Ghost... When you fast, you're weak. In your weakness, He comes. And you'll, you know, if you're tuned in, if you're asking Him, are you asking God to visit you? Do you want Jesus to come visit you? Acts 1, and He through the Holy Ghost gave commandments unto the apostles whom He chose. It. He comes in the form of the Holy Ghost. You're not going to see Him. You're going to hear Him, though. You might feel Him. He might manifest His miracles. Okay, that's all. God bless.